We're going to go on a dive to the deep sea. And anyone that's had that lovely opportunity knows that for the, about two and a half hours on the way down, it's a perfectly positively pitch black world. And we used to see the most mysterious animals out the window that you couldn't describe, these blinking lights, a world of bioluminescence like fireflies. Dr. Edith Witter, she's now at the Ocean Research and Conservation Association, was able to come up with a camera that could capture some of these incredible animals. And that's what you're seeing here on the screen. That's all bioluminescence, like I said, just like fireflies. There's a flying turkey under a <laughs> turkey. <laughs> I don't know, I, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a geologist by training, uh, but I love that. Uh, and you see, some of, the, some of the bioluminescence they use to avoid being eaten, some they use to attract prey, but all of it, from an artistic point of view, is just positively amazing. And a lot of what goes on inside, there's a fish with glowing eyes, pulsating eyes. Some, some of the colors are designed to hypnotize these lovely patterns. And then this last one, one of my favorites, this pinwheel design, just absolutely amazing, every single dive. That's the unknown world, and today we've only explored about 3%, 3% of what's out there in the ocean. Already we found the world's highest mountains, world's deepest valleys, underwater lakes, underwater waterfalls, a lot of that we shared with you from the stage, and in a place where we thought no life at all, we find more life, we think, in diversity and density than the tropical rainforest, which tells us that we don't know much about this planet at all. There's still 97%, and either that 97% is empty or just full of surprises. But I want to jump up to shallow water now and look at some creatures that are positively amazing. The cephalopods, headfoot. As a kid, I knew them as calamari, mostly. <laughs> but this is an octopus. This is the work of Dr. Roger Hanlon at the Marine Biological Lab. And just fascinating how, how cephalopods can, with their eyes, incredible eyes, sense their surrounding, look at light, look at patterns. Here's an octopus moving across the reef, finds a spot to settle down, curls up, and then disappears into the background. Tough thing to do. 